At Auto Industria, we believe that car buying should be all about finding the perfect match between owner and car. And today, we're going to help a good friend of ours find a perfect match for her. Let's go meet Zoe. Hi, I am Zoe Sandejas. By day, I am an in-house director and photographer. By night, I am a bartender at my own bar called Simpla. Uh, with the work that I have now, uh, I'm looking for a new car since I've been driving my car for 10 years and it's a sedan. So I need a new car with more space, something efficient, something within the budget. So hopefully the guys from Auto Industria can help me out with that. This is the new Mitsubishi Expander. What do you think? It's very futuristic. I know, right? I like this part. What, what, what's this part? This, uh, this look is actually called the dynamic shield. Ibig sabihin niyan, ipaglalaban ka. Diba? Uh, you have here the DRL. It's, it's actually new for, uh, the for the 2022 model year. It's uh, been redesigned. It looks much sharper. Sorry, what's a DRL? Oh, it's a uh, distance relationship long. Joke lang. Huh? It's daytime running light. <laughs> it's again, when you're driving along, it's supposed to light up. It's for safety. So uh, people, when you're overtaking, they know if it's the front of the car. That's mm, okay. really kind of what it's for along with many other things. But what do you think of this thing right here? It looks like Thor's hammer. It's cool, <laughs> no? Like it, yeah. It, this is actually the headlight. That's how Mitsubishi's been doing it uh, with the expander since they launched it in our market. I mean, you've seen a few oh. expanders in the Philippine market, but this one has been redesigned, which is why the, the look is different, but the headlights especially, that's very, very striking. Yeah, it looks very inconspicuous. I know, right? Now, let's check out some other details. Okay, Zoe, what do you think of the expanded size of the expander? I think it's a little too big. Well, it may seem big, but it's only 4.6 meters long, just a little bit over it, and 1.7 meters wide. So, most sedans actually around the same size, just a little bit shorter. So, it's not that big of an upgrade in size, which is actually a good thing. It means it'll still fit in your garage. But what's nice here, look underneath. See the extra ground clearance? Because this one has 225 millimeters of ground clearance, like an SUV, but getting in and out is not like an SUV. Here, try it. Open it. Open that door. What's this? Well, press that button. See what happens. See? Uh. This, that is the beauty of these new smart keys. Actually, when you close the door, here, close it now. Press that button. It locks the car as you go out. Now, let's try getting in and out, and I'll show you some more tricks with a smart key. All right. Okay, now let's take you through some of the features right there on the center console. You see that big screen there? That's your audio system. It's a touch screen and has a few features like FM, AM, Bluetooth, the usual stuff. But what you're gonna like is when you plug in your phone. iPhone, right? Yep. Go on, plug it in. Let's see what we get. Now, because this unit comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay like right there it makes it very very simple you don't have to mess around with anything else you just hook up your phone mm -hmm. and then you go and then you can play around with all your apps right there on the screen now looking there at the ac system you've got a digital ac unit it's very very cool right now as you can feel uh, you can also turn up the the fan speed no problem if it's a really hot day mm -hmm. You've got a variety of trays and compartments here. See that tray on the dashboard? You can actually put your phone there. Eh? Mas madale. Diba? Now, uh, you've got some pockets there in the middle, cup holders. But what's nice is what's going on there with the shifter. You see the shifter? You're not used to that, right? You're used to a gate-type shifter. The, yeah, yeah, the I gate. <laughs> now you can get used to the PRN D2L. Prindle. The Prindle. Uh. The Prindle. Yeah, the Prindle shifter. You can use that no problem, makes driving a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And also, the electronic parking brake. When that red is on, it means you're in park. You don't have to mess around with a handbrake anymore. It makes it very easy. And later, when you take this out for a drive, you can use the auto hold feature just below. Mm -hmm. You see that? What that does is it, it holds the car in traffic, uh, in a standstill, so you don't have to pull a handbrake anymore or go into D or step on the brake. That's very convenient. Yeah, it makes traffic driving on EDSA very, very easy. But there's something I really want to show you, and it's over here in the back. Come on. All right. Now, the Expander is something we call a seven-seat MPV multi-purpose vehicle. 
That means two in the front, three can sit in the middle, and two more here in the very back. But if you don't need all that seating, it's very easy. Pull this on that side, and then pull ah, this down. Easy. It's one touch. What do you think of that? Convenient. Super. And you're a director, right? So you need space for what? Lights, cameras, action? Yes. Exactly. Do you think it's enough space for what you do? More than. That's really cool. Actually, you've even got a compartment right here. Actually, three compartments right there for all kinds of stuff you want to keep away from prying eyes. See, that's the beauty about an MPV like this. It'll adjust for you. Shana maga adjust para sa yo. So, right now, what I want you to do is I want you to take it out and see if the expander is the MPV that will give you the space you need. I wasn't really expecting that I could drive a big car like this because I've been so used to sedans for like 10 years. So surprising to me that it's easy. It drives like a sedan, that's the thing. It's easy to adjust with the height. It's not that big of a difference. It's okay. Siya. Yeah. Plus, noticeable yung aircon <laughs> by a lot. Super important yun sa akin, especially for really hot days. And the ease of the screen, na isang pindot mo lang. Sometimes you don't even have to look. It's very convenient also with the Apple CarPlay na you get to see the map. You don't have to bring out your phone. Kasi sometimes I have this thing na yung phone may holder, tapos mahuhulog yung phone. Actually, another thing that I like about it is everything is so adjustable. Aside from your usual in the side mirror and whatnot, you can actually adjust the height of the chair, which is very, very convenient for me as a small person. What's surprising to me is the power of the engine. Because usually, I need to overtake the sedan a little just to overtake a little, just for a little speed. But with this one, it's so effortless. And it doesn't, you know, sometimes it hurts your legs or your, your feet pag ano. Pag nag-drive ka, ito parang, it's like you're lounging lang at home. I think Zoe's really having a lot of fun with the Mitsubishi Expander. Let's see what she thinks. Oh, here she is now. Hey Zoe, what did you think about the Expander? It's so easy to drive. That's really the beauty of it because it gives you the ride of the car, the ease of all these modern features, and the practicality of an SUV. To know more about the Mitsubishi Expander, Bye. visit mitsubishi-motors.com.ph. Hey, don't leave me. Come on. That's the car we're driving. <laughs>